described as a miracle drug back in 1996. At the time, opioids had limited use for short-term, acute, and end-of-life pain. Neither are markets where fortunes are made. Your internist, your general practice doctor, didn't prescribe opioids for back pain. That just wasn't done. Uh, doctors had a fear of using these drugs um, that was based in, you know, their addictiveness. Manufactured by Purdue Pharma, OxyContin was marketed as a 12-hour time-release pain reliever that produced no high, was non-addictive, and therefore safe for long-term use. Purdue, at the time it launched OxyContin in 1996, really opened new territory in terms of aggressive promotion of narcotics. Uh, they did things that really had never been seen before. Purdue launched a campaign to sell OxyContin through multiple levels of attack. Blitz number one, educate the medical community. From 1996 to 2001, Purdue conducted national pain management and speaker training conferences at resorts in Florida, Arizona, and California. They're inappropriately influencing, maybe even corrupting, 5,000 doctors, nurse practitioners, and uh, nurses to, to sell the Kool-Aid. Several videos were created aimed at both doctors and patients to encourage the use of opioids as long-term, safe methods to treat chronic pain. One such video was entitled, I Got My Life Back. The video centers around Dr. Alan Spanos and his patients' personal success stories, thanks to OxyContin. I got my life back. Now, now I can enjoy every day that I live. Since I've been on this new pain medication, I have not missed one day of work. These videos were seen by about...